Hello, good day, everyone. Still on number-based system. Once it comes to subtraction, so many students faced a lot of challenges. And this is only because they failed to understand the logic behind subtraction in natural numbers. These natural numbers are the numbers we count every day. These are the numbers we deal with every day. So now before we start these four examples, let us refer back to the natural numbers. So first we want to see 35 minus 26. Normally we used to say 5 minus 6. So many students used to say it can't, borrow 1. So student borrowed 1 here and attached it to this 5 to make it 15. But naturally that is not how it works. Every natural number is in base 10. Every natural number is in base 10. You know, as you are counting, suppose we want to increase this 35, we keep on increasing. Once this 5 reaches 10, it becomes 0, and you have to take one bundle to the next, and this 3 becomes 4. That one bundle you brought here, if you were to take it back, it is going to come here as 10, not longer 1. So that 10, that, that one you borrow here, leaving two bundles, if it comes here, it comes as our base, which is 10. So you see 10 plus 5 making 15, and that 15 minus 6 is 9. And this 9 is also in base 10. We only have two bundles here. 2 minus 2 is 0. So what we have is 9. The same principle is also applicable here. So now let us see how we can deal with these four problems. The first one, we are asked to subtract 1010 from 11111. This is subtraction. We start from the right. 1 minus 0 is 1. And remember something. We can never have 2 in this set of numbers because the highest digit we can have is 1 less than the base. Our base is 2. So the highest number is going to be 1. Take note of that. We have 1 minus 1 equals 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus nothing is 1. So this is what we have after subtracting 1010 from 111. So this time around, we have not borrowed anything. Now let us take the second question. Let me write this as 1010 zero, one, zero, 1 in base 2. So the next question, we are asked to subtract 1111 from 10110. Subtraction. You can see here is 0, minus 1. We say it can't, we have to borrow 1 here. This is one bundle. Once this number reaches 2, it has to recount all over again from 0 and take one bundle to the next. And if that one bundle should come back, it is going to come back as 2 because that's one bundle in base 2. So 0 minus 1, it can't. We borrow 1 here. This one is no more. We have 0. But what is coming will come in terms of our base, which is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Here we have nothing because we have already taken away the bundle to the next. We have to reborrow here again. This becomes zero. And whatever number is coming, it will come in term of the base, which is two. Two plus zero is still two. Two minus one is one. Again, here we have nothing, but we have one under. We want to subtract. We are not going to borrow here because this one has nothing. We are going to borrow here. You take away one bundle here, you are left with zero. You bring it here as our base, but this is where we want to bring the bundle. Take one bundle here, leaving one bundle. Bring the other bundle back here, it becomes two. So two plus zero is still two, then two minus one is one. Here we have one left, one minus one is zero. But here we have nothing, nothing minus nothing is nothing. So these two zeros are, are not significant. If you like, you leave them. If you don't, you remove them out. So this is what we have in base two. One, one, one. So you can write it here. One, one, one. Also in base two. Here we have numbers in base six. The highest digit we have is five, you can see. 
we will never have six here. Five minus four is one. This number is in base six. Two minus three, we have to borrow. We borrow here. This is one bundle. We are left with nothing. Once it comes here, it will come as six. So you say six plus two is eight. Then that eight minus three is five. So we have five here. We have nothing here. So we borrow one bundle here, leaving two bundles. What you are going to bring here is six. Six plus zero is still six. Then six minus four is two. Here we have two bundle minus nothing is still two. So this is what you have, two, two, five, one. Two, two, five, one in base six. Okay, let us look on to the last one, which is two, one, two, one minus two, one, two in base three. We start from the right. One minus two, it can't, we borrow one. This is two bundles. We are taking one bundle away, leaving single bundle. But that bundle will come here as three, which is our base. So we have three here. So three plus one is four. Then four minus two is two in base three. Here we have one bundle left. One minus one is zero. One minus two, we have to borrow again. This is two bundle. We take one bundle, leaving one bundle. But as it comes here, it will come as three. Three plus one is four, then four minus two is two. What we have here is one bundle minus nothing is one. So this is what we have, one, two, zero, two. In base three. One, two, zero, two in base three. So this is exactly how to subtract. Just keep it at the back of your mind that whenever you are borrowing from a particular bundle, it will come as exactly as the base. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. Don't forget to share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.